Hi everyone, how's it going? Back again with me, Princess Tacha, with new video. For this video, you are going to find out how would men describe your image to others. In front of you, there are three beautiful pictures. Using your intuition, please pick the first picture that comes into your mind. Now remember, you're welcome to watch or pick other group for your own additional messages. I'll see you on your reading. Hi group number one, welcome back to my channel with me Princess Tacha. Um, I'm on my mini vacation but still want to uh, post some video for you guys to enjoy and I hope that you guys have a great day. So group number one, how would men describe your image to others? Um, just so you know that this is just general reading so please take what resonates alright this is not defining who you are as a person and I hope that this message will be very helpful for you and also bring sense of fun you have here Lakshmi with abundance alright I feel that group number one man would describe your image as someone that is very creative. Um, there's this very authentic attitude, at, at authentic qualities about you that is just hard to explain but makes men, yes, Parvati, exactly. Um, some of you probably um, from India, it's very strongly roots there probably for some of you, uh, but I also feel that you know, with Lakshmi and Parvati together, men would describe your image to others as someone that brings some sort of inspiration. You have your own unique ideas, you know, you gain a lot of inspirations everywhere you go, but you might not realize that you become the inspiration for the people around you, all right? You become the inspiration for your family, for your loved ones, um, you know, for your uh, acquaintances. And I feel that for some of you, you kind of realize it or secretly realize it by people try to copy your style, copy the way you dress up, copy the way you put your makeup on. Um, take that as a compliment in the sense that, you know, you, you are the inspiration. You know, you are the Lakshmi. You know, you are the the source of authenticity and originality and uh, creative ideas, you know, for a lot of people around you. Now, goddess of fortune and prosperity, Lakshmi brings a bounty of rewards for great work. Men would describe your image to others as someone that truly know how to work in order to eat your endless cake. You know what I'm trying to say? So, let's say that you really want something and it's something that, you know, everyone also wants it, you know, and then you're willing to be one of the rare people that work from zero to hero, you know, from zero to 100 or truly um, work over time or even show a little bit more effort than a lot of people to get what you want in life, you know, and there's that energy of Lakshmi, you know, being very prosper, um, really are there for great work that's you you are really there for great work she especially favors people who have perseverance and put in the hard work so men would describe you as someone that making sure you're putting in the hard work you're putting the time um, that needs to be done you're putting a lot of energy into something that you want to create so i feel that you're very um knowledgeable you're very active you're very smart and intelligent but also you're someone that can attract abundance with your work ethic you know you're someone that can find a lot of different ideas to make money another stream of income or even someone that will show up for yourself you know in order to prove to yourself that you can do better so that's how men would describe you to others and with this card i feel that men truly describe you as someone that look very prosper you look very abundant because that abundance energy from Lakshmi truly uh, appear in this reading and surrounding you group number uh, one 
And you also got here Parvati, all right? Parvati is also the Hindu goddess. Loving goddess Parvati is strengthening your spirit. Men would describe you, group number one, as someone that truly loving. You know, you have this lovely, calm personality. Sometimes you become the source of peace for other people. You are a great mediator. You can, you know, find a win-win solution for other people. Men would describe you as someone that not just thinking about yourself, but also for other people. You're also someone that is an empath. And, you know, you've got the power to find the fight within yourself right now. Someone that will fight for your future is yourself and to keep rising to the top. So mentally see that your spirit, um, you know, it's very beautiful. You have this beautiful soul. You're someone that will keep rising to the top because you have that great intention in your heart. You're someone that will do everything with your heart with great intention with Parvati there and accompany it with Lakshmi. This is like a great combination, a double threat for someone that truly can make other people feel a little bit intimidated or a little bit jealous of your progress, of your looks, of the attention that you got from people. It's just because your energy is very strong and it's just everywhere you go, it seems like the world revolves around you group number one okay you cannot help it but it's, it is what it is all right that's just what happened when you have this beautiful gorgeous energy around you and it seems like you know you can enjoy it i feel <laughs> you can enjoy the attention that you got um let's see it here how would men okay the king authority and diplomacy wow let me look at this the king authority and diplomacy so when you want something um you never try to force it you never try to force connection because you know that it's hard to just make a genuine connection these days but it seems like you try to make other people understand your point of view or where you come from and that really nice that really nice you know so men would describe you as someone that really just being very um you know, being like a diplomat, you really know how to talk things smoothly. Your voice is probably also soothing. And I also feel that there's this leadership skill that you have. Some of you probably literally have a leadership position. But I feel that some of you, you know, you really know how to respect people in position. You know, you really know how to make other people understand your point of view without being too forceful. And with the king here, you know, you look very royal. You look very regal. I feel that whenever you enter the room, you get, you get that stare, that look, that people just adore you or secretly adore you. You know, men would describe you to others as someone that has this king effect. You know, the king effect means that someone that other people want to respect to, you gain respect wherever you go you gain attention and it seems like the world just you know love putting you on pedestal and you know you really know how to help other people that need you so you always use your popularity your resources your money for uh, common goods all right okay what you got here I'm not surprised queen of pentacles again abundance energy over here but also especially stronger with the queen of pentacles queen of pentacles is someone that really been there done that working so hard um gaining a lot of experiences in life and it seems like you know you just know what you do and you share the resources that you got with the people that you love and it seems like you're very nurturing so men would describe you to others as someone that is very nurturing maybe some of you is a big sister big brother a parent a single parent it doesn't matter uh, you will be a parent in the future for some of you or you are someone that people look up to because the way you respond to other people is with nurturing energy i feel that you know and this is abundance again and energy coming with you with the king and queen so not just the king you have that queen of pentacles you know very powerful card in the pentacles uh, uh, you know group and I feel that when you get what you want when you gain a lot of resources when you becoming very abundant you always help people that coming after you or people help your family or help you know help other people basically so that's just how men would describe you to others group number one let me see it here how would men describe you to others group number one the wheel of fortune again that's like Lakshmi energy you know prosperity fortune abundance and i feel that um with the wheel of fortune men would describe you to others as someone that bring a lot of uh, fortune to other people you know it seems like hanging out with you or having connection with you truly attract also abundance in their life you know truly attract abundance in their life and i feel that you know with the wheel of fortune there's this 
um, energy of you really want to bring back abundance and fortune into your life and also to the people that you love. So you're someone that truly inspire people to do charity. Uh, you probably love joining in some sort of charity, volunteer activities. You love donating to spiritual cause that you believe, to social cause that you believe. You're someone that really care about social justice, social cause. You know, you're someone that probably study economy. You love psychology. I feel that for some of you. And you really know how to uh, manage your finance really well. Or if you haven't felt this way, take this as a sign for you to start thinking about your finance in order to attract more abundance and live comfortably in your life. And that's kind of like becoming one of your main goal to live comfortably in life. But I feel that with the Wheel of Fortune here, group number one, you know, there's this energy about you being give and take, really balance that kind of energy, you know. When someone really have this ability of experience to uh, give and take uh, and have that balance, harmony, energy, they truly attract abundance in their life. And abundance sometimes not just coming from money. It can come from free food. It can come from like a big discount. It can come from lottery. It can come from anything. Some Sometimes, you know, you got people that being so kind to you and give you free food, free snack, you know, anything about that. And that's like all of it is about the energy, you know, energy never lies. And that's how men would describe you to others as someone that is being blessed fortune and attracting abundance all right group number one that's your reading for today please give me thumbs up and please like this video if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe and be part of my family if you want to donate to this channel um you can click link in the description box and also if you want to book me for your private reading please click the link in the description box below thanks for watching and i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye bye Hello group number two, welcome back to my channel with me Princess Tacha. Um, I'm on my mini vacation uh, but still want to give you some video and say hi to you guys. I'm so glad I can come back with new video to you. Uh, please know that this is just general reading so please take what resonates but if you want private reading just for you, please click the link in the description box below to book me for your private reading. Group number two, how would men describe you? describe your image right to others all right this card wants to come out you have here yemoja with release um very beautiful i feel that some of you is truly try to just be yourself you never try to be anyone else but yourself there's this authenticity coming from this group really strong um and yeah let's discuss this one by one but i feel that you know your, your energy is very pure and men can sense that so they describe you to others as someone that bring good energy around you bring good energy because you can release you know with the emoji you release that bad energy around you you don't want to keep it around you all right let's sit here with emoji emoji is the yoruba goddess you know men would describe you as someone that will carry a lot of positive energy um, you can connect with man with the loving spirit inside yourself because Yemoja, you know, as, as the Yoruba goddess, she surrenders herself to um, the thought of a very loving, you know, she's washing over you right now and feel nurtured when you release what is, isn't working for you, your spirit. So men would describe you your image to others as someone that not forcing connection you're not gonna force a romantic relationship you're more so about give a signal and try to release that you know try to release the energy try to give a signal to the universe um and try to get or gain a lot of energies around you that truly match with yourself but if you see a platonic connection romantic connection friendship other business connection you know that is just it seems like it's just not work out well it seems like it's just not you know it's not comfortable for you to be in that kind of relationship or the the way they respond to you is just not very genuine you feel then you're not you're not sad of letting it go you know you're not sad of releasing it because you know that by releasing it you will attract and gain more that is in alignment with your energy so men would describe you as someone that truly know how to release something that is not working for you how to truly feel nurtured and how to nurturing your own spirit you know how to put a proper boundaries but yet at the same time still being very friendly you have this seductive energy like a siren because the emoji is a, uh, is a siren is a mermaid right and i feel that um men would describe your image as someone that really know how to attract romantic energy to yourself 
Kuan Yin. All right, that's Chinese goddess, goddess of mercy and kindness. Kuan Yin is a favorite uh, because she brings pure compassion into your life. Men would describe your image as someone that really know how to help other people without expecting anything in return. You truly have that genuine energy around you um, and it can change anytime. All right, so if you feel that you're being called again to this reading, um, come back to the reading and pick other group or pick the same group up to you. You, right um you have free will and but i feel that there's this big energy coming from your soul that's being very kind you're a very kind person you know i'm not surprised if some some people try to take advantage of you or to try to you know not really being very appreciative of what you have done in their life and um uh, don't be sad group number two because you know uh, what comes what goes around comes around you will get what you deserve you will get that abundance you will get that help from the universe and all that you know when the time is right you just you just you just will get it all right now when Kuan Yin appears in the reading you know it's about giving mercy and giving the love and support that you are seeking so i feel that group number two right now you're truly seeking some sort of um good support around you that truly understand who you are as a person not being very judgmental about yourself and your choices in life and a man truly describe you or would describe your image to others as someone that being non-judgmental you're someone that truly um giving support or being very supportive in relationship or in connection in work relationship that's also possible but i also feel group number two that you know with the Kuan Yin here appear um you are very spiritual all right you're very spiritual or very religious some of you truly have this religion that you follow spiritual practice that you follow but i feel that you know there's this energy around you being very close with the spiritual world and mentally feel sometimes that they have some sort of past life connection with you when they contact with you when they have met or when they made a contact with you when they talk to you or you know you make them feel some sort of like the devil feeling kind of like that all right group number um so that's very interesting let me see it here how would men describe your image to others? For my viewers, that pick group number two, please. What is this? The wizard. Use your skills to aid others. This is like the magician energy in the tarot deck. But this is a very, very powerful card over here. The wizard. There is something about your hand that truly can attract miracles attract abundance you're probably really good working with your hand or your hand is very pretty your nails probably very pretty as well for some of you um and or, or not if not then you truly have also the magician effect the wizard effect in your life you know um the magician or the wizard is someone that's truly creative beyond imagination um you really know how to come up with different ideas how to impress the room how to bring that creative energy wherever you go people would love to be in your team people would love working with you so men would describe your image to others as very creative very out of the box and you achieve big things in your life or if not then people kind of love the life that you're living right now you know you're living the dream for some of you but that's because how you truly maintain your attitude towards that the, the desire that you have the desire that you want to achieve and uh, the things about you do group number two is just when you don't have anything it doesn't make you sad because you really know how to find happiness in a very simple thing that, so that's how men will describe your image to others. You're very simple. Um, you don't like a lot of accessories for some of you. Or you don't like a lot of drama. You're just being very simple. The way you talk, the way you dress, the way you put your makeup on, or even the way you interact with people is very simple. You're straight to business. You're very honest. There's this honest communication that men feel. Um, and they would like to describe you or your image like that with the combination of Kuan Yin, Yemoji, and also the wizard. You're being very honest yet very entertaining. You really know how to keep some secret to, your, to, to yourself. And you keep people guessing. And there's people really want to know your secret, basically. Your secret, how you can get what you want. You know, people probably pay attention to your lifestyle, the way you're living your life. Um, some of you look like you really enjoy your life or being very grateful, but that's because you're gratitude, right? People thought that everything is just rainbow and sunshine about you, but that's not the case. That's the thing that they see. That's the thing that you let people see, but people sometimes forgot about the hidden effort about uh, something behind the curtains you know 
behind the great show there's this hard working person you are the wizard you can create great show the greatest showman that's you group number two right that's you the greatest showman over here all right let's see here how would men describe you to others describe your image to others for my viewers let me group number two please two of swords hmm you're very intellect um you're someone that probably men describe as having this great intelligence especially when the two of swords and the wizard coming together but i also feel that men really want to get your attention i think um you probably need to make a lot of decision lately justice yes yes you bring people you bring people to their justice you carry justice wherever you go it seems like you are the karma that people need to learn or when people try to belittle you they're gonna learn their own karma or lesson over here with justice i feel that you really care about social justice or you work in a organization or you love volunteering or you really care about what happens to the world right now um but i feel that group number two with the two of swords there's this great mind great intellect and really care about human connection psychology and anything else with that is justice as well i feel that men will describe your image to others as sometimes you can be overthinker an overthinker you know but that's just so the side effect of having a great mind you cannot prevent that um but at the same time you know men love talking to you um they would describe your image as someone that truly magically can um be different role at different times and you truly use your skills to help other people without expecting anything in return you're just like the wizard you know uh, being very magical you truly hold that wands look at that the wands energy probably some of you have a, either air energy with the two of swords and the wand energy with the wizard and also water energy so pisces cancer scorpio Aries, leo sagittarius and also aquarius gemini libra over here but overall men will describe your energy as someone that really know how to release even you know not so good resources in in your life and attract um good energy and being very helpful to other people and truly truly have this big heart you truly are so kind and big heart you know sometimes people took you for advantages but you know know that it will come back to you in a good energy uh from the universe all right group number two that's your reading for today please give me a thumbs up and please like this video if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe and be part of my family if you want to donate to this channel please click the link in the description box below and thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video bye bye hello group number three welcome back to my channel with me princess tacha and i'm on my mini vacation but still want to uh, give you some video and come to say hi um and i hope that you have a great day please know that this is just general reading so please take what resonates group number three how would men describe your image to others for my viewers that be group number three please all right you have inana with desire Wow, very interesting. You have Arakura with blooming. Very interesting, very interesting. Men will describe your image to others as someone with duality. You know, there's this... Um, a very strong sunny personality someone that really know how to bring sunshine and color into people life someone that is very unique in your own way you're very unicorn men would describe your image to others as being like a unicorn you know uh, very interesting you have an interesting personality uh, you make other people curious about you that's how men would describe you to others and I feel that group number three, um, men will describe you to others as the queen. Because Inanna is Sumerian goddess. She's the queen of heaven. She embraces all those who seek her care. Uh, men will describe your image as someone that being very wise beyond your years. People might not guess that you are your age because the way you're thinking is very, is very interesting. Um, you look younger than you actually are, but also the way you think is very major. There is this wisdom following you around 
and you become the source of wisdom you become the wise person or become wiser each year passing by you know and men would describe your image to others as the perfect person honestly you're just perfect without you realizing that without you you know you want it or not whether you want it or not doesn't matter you're very perfect and I feel that group number um, three, men really know how to um, how to attract your attention. So you love giving attention. So that's the thing about you, though. Uh, you might not realize that you get attention wherever you go, but that's also because you give attention to people. You know, you are a great listener. So that's how men would describe your image to others: a great listener. Um, and you're someone that truly gonna see the wisdom inside your soul and to find what your heart truly longs for. You know, um, you're the one that gonna give in to your desire without feeling guilty. Men would describe your image to others as being this source of fun, the life of the party, fun person to be around, and someone that love indulging in your desire, in this worldly desire, and you're not feeling guilty about it. You know, you work hard and you want to play harder, all right? You work harder about uh, then play hard, but then you want to like work and enjoy the fruit of your work. So that's how men describe you to others and um what's truly yours will always be yours and you just want to release what is not yours but when when you have a desire about something or someone you're gonna pursue it and men kind of like that so they will describe you your image to others as being very passionate you know a passionate person yet probably the first time you met or first the, the first time people met with you they might not realize that you're very passionate right you have here ira kura With Arakura, you know, it's your time to shine and you're coming into your own with assistance of goddess of the underworld. This is Germanic goddess Arakura blooming. You know, goddess of the underworld and prosperity Arakura. You're being recognized for the beautiful soul you are. Get ready to blossom. There's this passionate, happy-go-lucky attitude about you that truly attract attention of men. Men will describe your image to others as someone that really know how to bloom in the middle of darkness how to be the light in the middle of darkness you know you make other people wonder what is your secret what did you do or you know what you actually do in your life you know because you're very interesting with your background and men also describe your image to others as someone that really know how to gather a lot of resources, gather a lot of knowledge and information and kind of use it for your own benefit. You know, men also describe your image to others as someone that really know how to stand out in a room without being the loudest in a room. You really know how to get people pay attention to you, how to capture people's heart. Uh, it doesn't matter their gender, you know, platonic, romantic, they love watching you. You probably um, get a lot of people watching your Instagram or social media story or TikTok or just, you know, your crush, the people that you hang out with, your acquaintances. They probably love watching your story, your TikTok, your Instagram without even commenting anything, you know. That's like a sign that they love and enjoying what you're posting because if people don't like it, they're not going to even waste their time to watch it, all right. If they watch it, they're, in, they're interested, all right. So take that as a sign, you know, take that as a sign if someone watching your story or TikTok without even liking, without even commenting it they still have interest you're still winning <laughs> all right you're still winning here you got two only this group that got two then night and the ministerial Triumph over adversity and let your intentions be known. Hmm. You know, with the ministerial, um, men would describe your image to others as someone that is very strategic. If you want to share the information, if you want to share your intention, you will share it. But most of the time, you're not letting people know all of your cards right away. So that's just how men would describe your image to others. Please take this as a just general reading, right? It's not necessarily defining who you are as a person. And with the knight, 
Men truly describe your image to others as being very brave. You have this courageous nature. You probably come from completely different background than who you are right now. You have a better life or you truly know how to pursue your desire. You truly know how to show some sort of courage to the things that you want to get. Being very courageous, being very adventurous. You love traveling, you, you love adventure. You love going to theme parks, you know, kind of things like that. Something that's really gonna raise your adrenaline, raise your vibrations. You love going to the nature. You love exploring. You love adventure. You know, you love, you're, you're being very curious. So men also describe your image as being very curious, yet very brave, courageous, and very daring. All right. How would men describe you to others? Group number three. Two of ones. You have a very strong fire element in your birth chart, Arias Leo Sagittarius. You're very confident. You really know how to manage your job really well, manage your work really well. You really know how to be the center of attention and you really know how to manage everything and still looks good doing it. You make things look easy. So that's how, just how men would describe your image to others. Some people probably complaining a lot, but not you. You love giving a great show. You love working hard and sometimes people just wonder what is your secret again the ministry let your intentions be known if you want to let other people know your intention you know uh, you know letting other people know your side of story you know but most of the time you just let the universe talk for them you just let the universe talk for you you know you let you just let the universe do their magic and not being very forceful about how to prove to other people that you're right all along about something right how would men describe your image to others for my first that pick group number three please nine of pentacles nine of pentacles is when you truly enjoy the hard work again nine of pentacles coming together with inana this reading is pretty accurate for you group number three letting me know that men truly see you as someone that enjoying your life enjoying your hard work you have a very strong lilith placement in your birth chart find out where's your lilith located but with the nine of pentacles you know you look very fabulous you look very abundant you look very gorgeous the way you dress is just very impressive you really know how to uh, be the perfect person that the world has to offer you know honestly people love bring you to their parents they love bring you to their event and it seems like you always know how to maximize what you have you know it doesn't matter how many how much money you have but it's about how you being very grateful how to have that sense of great uh, gratitude and it show people can tell men will describe your image to others as being very abundant full of desire very passionate um uh, blooming in the room you're right with aracura and you know um you truly are just in this lifetime you're going to enjoy your hard work and make sure when that time comes you're not feeling guilty about it and invoke that spirit of inana um you know that energy that personality of inana to truly enjoy the desire of your heart and that's how men would describe you to others group number three all right group number three that's your reading for today please give me a thumbs up please like this video if you want to book me for your private reading or to donate to this channel please click the link in the description box below Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and be part of my family. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and bye-bye.